17 million people, 24 member states, several different languages including English, French and Dutch, one institution. Welcome to the home of the new single regional body tasked with preventing disease and promoting health across the Caribbean, CARFA. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, come on in and we'll tell you more. CARFA was created in 2013 to be a more effective and efficient arrangement for the public health organizations in the Caribbean region. It actually comprises a merger of five former regional health institutions, the Caribbean Epidemiology Center, or CAREC as it was known, the Food and Nutrition Institute, CFNI, the Environmental Health Institute, uh, which is in St. Lucia, the Regional Drug Testing Laboratory, and the longest serving, the Caribbean Health Research Council. So it brings together under one umbrella all these five uh, previous institutions to be more effective and more efficient in organizing the affairs of public health in the Caribbean region. The benefits of CAFA to the member states and the people of the region are several fold. First of all, an improved uh, quality and length of life, improved health and well being, improved and safer environment where disease is prevented and health is promoted and protected. To employers and businesses, you have a more productive workforce and uh, reduced cost. To governments, ministries of health are reducing the upward spiral of preventable health costs. So one of the big challenges today is not only uh, do we have a lot of avoidable health problems, but they're driving up costs for governments, for families and for businesses. So those are some of the benefits of CARFA. CAFA makes a difference in the lives of people by implementing our public health functions and we do so in close partnership with others. So for example, we track diseases, what people die from, what they're sick from, uh, we monitor food and water quality in the region and we advise governments on what kinds of programs they should run. Uh, we educate people in the region, recently we signed an agreement with CMC to help do that. Uh, we conduct research into the causes of health and disease problems. And we also identify globally uh, good practices that can be adapted and used in our region uh, to improve health and well-being of people. Vice versa, we sometimes export good practices uh, to elsewhere in the world to help improve, uh, to help improve people's health and well-being. The case for investing in CARFA is a very strong one. Well, I could say if you really care about your health, give CAFA some of your wealth. Um, uh, recently though, we had a, a study done by the University of the West Indies, which suggested that the economic value of the services, the public health services provided by CAFA, the return on investment was of the order of 20 to one. So that for every dollar invested by the member states into CAFA, they were seeing a return of 20 to one. How does that work? Well, it works because the programs we implement would cost a certain amount to monitor and detect and educate and inform uh, people. And then the ill health avoided and the improved productivity that's gained, the reduced costs that uh, occur as a result of our work, well, that's the benefit. So when you put those two together, you find that the return on investment is of the order of 20 to 1. Therefore, we're a good investment choice. The priority public health issues facing the region fall into different categories. We still have some problems related to infectious diseases. Uh, for example, the big problem with chikungunya that we had last year in this region. Problems like HIV that still remain a, a bit of a problem. Um, perhaps the overall uh, public health priority, which also has a huge cost, is the problem of non-communicable diseases and obesity. Problems like heart disease, cancer, uh, problems like diabetes, which are related to the environment in which we live today uh, that is so obesogenic. Um, we also have problems related uh, to violence and injuries, uh, both things like traffic injuries, but also uh, interpersonal uh, violence. Then from the environment itself, especially as small states, we have problems related to climate change and what's called environmental degradation. So those are some of the different uh, public health priorities. How CAFA tackles those is by uh, studying them, by gathering evidence of the size of the problem, by understanding what can be done to um, avoid them or to, to improve health. And then we work and advise with governments uh, and partners in order to implement programs to prevent and control these public health priorities. 
CARFA is committed to helping Caribbean people achieve our aspirations in health and development. But in order to do this, we need more partners and funding. The number one challenge facing CARFA is that we need more investment in order to be able to realize the potential of our work. Uh, when the agency was set up, uh, they brought the five into one, as I mentioned earlier, and also gave additional responsibilities to the agency. In order to discharge those, um, we need more resources. We're actually undercapitalized, if you will, for what we can do. That's the, the number one challenge. Other challenges derive from the very size of the problems that we face. And so when you ask, you know, how does a relatively small agency, we have just over 100 people, uh, deal with some of the huge problems related to um, uh, overweight and, and heart disease and cancer and stroke and so on, things like chikungunya. Well, we have to partner with others, partner with governments and partner with other entities to be able to deliver our services. Partners such as the Pan American Health Organization, such as UWI, such as the CARICOM uh, to deliver. In 2025, coffee is going to be a household word in the Caribbean region. Just as if you live in the States, people said, you know, today CDC said, or yesterday CDC announced. And uh, 10 years from now, coffee will be a household word in the Caribbean region. Uh, we will also be recognized as a global player in public health. Uh, there aren't that many international public health organizations. You can count them on, on less than two hands. We're the nearest kid on the block globally. And I think we'll be well recognized for having made a contribution to global health 10 years from now. In 2001, in Nassau, Bahamas, CARICOM heads of government said, the health of the region is the wealth of the region. If you share CARFA's purpose, vision and values, and would like to partner with us on a project or provide financial support, send an email to postmaster at carfa.org or visit our website at carfa.org and donate. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, preventing disease, promoting and protecting health.